Okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I'm hoping to get a couple done today because I have the whole day off and I want to finish at least a couple of the figures to completion on the war wagon. But this quick or possibly not so quick video is on this awesome new app that um, I posted about yesterday or the day before called Paint Rack. It's so good. I've been playing around with this for um, a couple of days at work here because it's been raining, so I've I've had some time, and I've I, I'm really impressed. So uh, I know a lot of people don't like putting stuff on their phones, you know, uh, without seeing it first. So I thought I'd give you all a bit of a look into the Paint Rack app. Okay, so here we go. So this is Paint Rack and it's basically a giant repository for paints. It's it's very good. It's got um there's a few things that aren't so good with it, but then that there are many, many other things that are. So it's got a really good help section. Um, it tells you all about the the app. It does cost to buy the full version. I just bought it after playing with it for a few minutes. It's like four dollars Australian US, or uh, sorry, four dollars Australian or two eighty nine US. The library tells you all about the library. This is where all the paints are. The sets you can make up sets for when you're doing your painting. So if you want to put in your um, base coat, washes, shades highlights uh, etc etc you can actually put these in sets for various things which is brilliant a wish list for all those paints that um, you come across that you really really want but haven't yet bought color tools oh, this is one of the most interesting features that I really like and I'll come to that later rapid scan this is the bit that doesn't work very well uh, it's kinda crap uh, it's like one of those barcode scanner things you grab your paint uh, preferably one like this like and you can you can scan the barcodes on them they've got all the barcodes except it takes about 17 minutes of paint um, because the damn thing doesn't want to scan it and there's a few different um, settings so we will just oops we will just go back okay so here here first we have the library so you can pick what type of paints like this whole there's more than this here and I'll take you to them but so far what I've got on this one is the Citadel paint range the P3 paint range the Reaper paint range the Vallejo paint range and the war paints and secret weapon because these are the ones that I have I have a lot of the Citadel I have all the Citadel uh, shades which I really really like and their glazes and some of the technical stuff and now I'm pr trying out some of their other stuff I've just got a bought a small selection to um, to try um, so yeah so and when you press on it it tells you what it is so secret weapon wash just red and then down the bottom there's a thing that says add it to the collection. So if you have it, you press that, it adds it to your collection. Just remove it from the collection. Take it away. Blah, 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 blah. So like for the war paints. Um, now to find all the paints that you've got, you can actually just type them in here at the top. So if you want to look for a paint, um, say, I need to look at one because I can't think of the names here. Okay, say gun metal. Right, so we'll type in gun You've only got to type in the first few things and then it brings it up and it gives you the two choices. So this one's gun metal, as you can see I've already done it. And this one, this one is actually machine gun metal. So it's got gun in the title. It's the easiest way to put in your paints. Um, I just went through first few letters of each one, bang, click on it. And now I've got pretty much all my paints, although it's taken a couple of days on and off to put them all in here. So... But probably um, two of the things that I really, really like the most is this, the sets. So you go into the sets. So these are just an example that you get with the things. So belt, bone, emblem, boots, 
face, grenades, and it shows you the different. So you can so you see it's Ghost Blaster Green, um, Vallejo Steel Blue, and so on and so forth. So you can pretty much you can play the paints that you have, and and then you can see here like the ones that are coloured in. I have that paint, so you can do sets for everything. Um, and on the unlocked version, the paid for version, there's no limit on the number of sets you can use. So that's really cool, but what I really like is this, the colour tools. So say, I don't know, you want your primary colour of your model to be blue, signal blue, right, and we're going to do it. So we open it in colour tools, you click on open in colour tools. Um, and then comes down here so it gives you here the complementary colors for Citadel, P3, Reaper, Vallejo, Warpaints and it shows you obviously which ones you've got so I've got like four of the five of this one um, and here um, analogous colors um, so they're next to each other, you know, on the colour wheel, and it tells you which ones are suitable to match with the thing you have. Now this is brilliant. This is brilliant for people who find colour theory hard, and for people who sometimes, you know, like me, think something looks good, then looks at it and goes, maybe not, and has to go back and redo it, because my um, colour sense is sometimes a bit off. But, um... Yeah, but this is so much easier than, like, it's it's really good. It's just really, really good if you need, you know, like, if, or if you want to try something different and you're not sure what to do, this will give you stuff that helps you figure that out. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much my favourite bit of this app. Oh, oh, that and the fact of, obviously, the library. Um... In the settings, you can pick the paint. So the manufacturers that it has is Citadel, P3 Reaper, Vallejo, War Paints, Tamiya, or Tamiya, depending on how you say that, Skull 75, Coat d'Arms, Citadel Classic, Minotaur, War Colors, Humbral, Andrea Color, and Secret Weapon. Um, you can show like the manufacturer's numbers, and you can also... Um, if you want to, at a later date, reset everything. But having done that, you lose everything. Um, and there's no way to get that back. So it's probably better not to touch that one. So, and back to the library. And it has pretty much, um, in all my paints so far, I've found two that didn't scan that aren't in this thing. Uh, and I think... Some of them are quite old. That's not a bad strike record because I don't throw anything away and I've got crap from years ago. If it still flows, then I'll paint with it. Um, so, yeah. So, for anyone who's even remotely interested, check this out. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. Um, I hope this video was informative. And um, thank you all for your comments on my the pics that I uploaded and I look forward to um, showing you my progress which is coming along slowly but surely um, in a video later on today or tonight or probably tomorrow morning depending on how late I paint um, so thank you once again um, and all the best to everyone on their own personal painting challenges oh and I'll um, answer some of those other questions because I need the sheet and I don't have it on me now and I really want a coffee so I'm not going to do that now but I'll ask the, um, some of those other questions for like week three all at once um, and do a new painting thingy me um, alright thank you very much and see you later